Hello and welcome to Esprit's latest tips and tricks video. My name is Troy Lewis and in today's tips and tricks video, we will provide an overview of all the options in the accessories pack add-in, which is accessible through the accessories toolbar. The accessories pack add-in has a wide variety of useful tools, but many users don't know that they can be configured to fit their needs. What the accessories add-in options allows our users to do is set certain options that affect the behaviors of some of the automatic features within Esprit. Assuming you have the accessories pack installed, we will have to make sure that it is properly loaded within Esprit for us to be able to access the Accessories Add-in Options dialog through the Accessories toolbar. To do this, we will need to open the Add-in Manager through Tools, Add-ins. And then, after selecting the Accessories Add-in from the list, we will make sure to set the load behavior by checking Loaded Unloaded and Loaded on Startup. Now that the Accessories Pack Add-in has been installed within Esprit, we will have to open the Accessories toolbar. We can do this by going to Tools, Accessories, and then selecting the Accessories Toolbar from the list. With the Accessories Toolbar open, the Accessories Add-in options can now be accessed. We will select the following button on the Accessories Toolbar, and the Accessories Add-in Options dialog will display. With the dialog window open, we will begin by covering the options on the General tab. The first option, starting from the top, is the Lock Open Esprit File. This allows the user to turn on and off the Esprit File locking function. With the Esprit file locking function turned on, if a user opens a file that is already locked by another user, then they will see the warning message like the one displayed here. This way, no other user will be able to overwrite the file until the original user closes it. The second option is for standard views relative to active work plane. With this option checked, when a view is selected from the standard views toolbar, it will be relative to the active work plane in the document and not the global XYZ work plane. The third option available through the General tab is Copy Freeform Features when Copying Solids. This option is used to turn on and off the Freeform Feature Copier functionality within Esprit, which will automatically copy Freeform features whenever the underlying solid is copied. The fourth option on this tab is Invert Printer Fonts. On some systems, the dimension and text fonts may come out inverted or mirrored. This setting allows for the fonts to be corrected for printing. The fifth option is Automatically Group Operation Copies. This gives the user the ability to automatically select all copies of an operation by selecting an operation twice consecutively. This allows the technology for those operations to be mass edited using the property browser, even if the copies do not have a common parent technology on the feature set. The final option on the general tab is Save and Restore Graphics Window. When checked, the layout and view information for each graphics window in a spree will be saved with the part file and restored when the file is reopened. This will be useful when we save a part file with our four views options selected in our standard views toolbar, or when a new window has been created and the view is set to tile or cascade. With these options, you can have different views and even different mask settings in each window, and this will be nice for seeing different simulation angles at the same time. Next, we will move on to our auto chain tab. Within this tab, we are given the option to set the default direction for closed auto chain features to either counterclockwise or clockwise. Directly below those options, we will see the option called Prompt for Old Method Confirmation. When checked, the user will be given a warning message whenever the Auto Chain Command button is clicked, but nothing is grouped in graphics. The user can either confirm to continue on with the old Auto Chain method or abort the Auto Chain selection in order to first group the elements prior to selecting the Auto Chain command again. Moving on to the Project Manager tab, we will see the following options displayed. The first option we have is the Show Notes Editors tab, and as the name implies, it can be used to turn on and off the Notes Editors tab in the Project Manager. The text input here will not have any effect on the output of the NC code. Next, we have the option to Make Notes Editors tab active after file open. With this option selected, whenever you create or open a document, the Notes tab on the Project Manager will be the first tab to display. The third option the user has available is Enable Turning Tool Pullouts. When checked, an extra tab will appear on the solid turn roughing, contouring, and grooving operations to allow for automatic pullouts of turning tools for insert changes based on either maximum cut length or number of passes. Next, we will be moving over to the simulation tab. Starting at the top, we will come across the option to automatically hide and show station solids, which is used to turn on and off the station solid simulation functionality. With this option selected, we can choose to mask out station solids in simulation with the selection of either head turret visibility holder visibility, or tool visibility. These correspond to the visibility toggle switches on the advanced simulation and simulation toolbars. The next option we will cover is simulate spinning jaws, which is used to turn on and off the jaw spinner functionality. With this option enabled and a solid turn operation being executed, the jaws graphics will change to show rotation of the jaws on the chucks in simulation. 
After this, we will see automatically hide all add-in toolbars. Just as the name implies, this will cause all add-in toolbars to be hidden at the start of simulation. The final option on the simulation tab is lathe part flip pause simulation. This option specifies whether or not to automatically pause the simulation before and after the part flip operation. Moving on to the display tab, the settings found here will allow you to control the number of decimal places displayed for various types of values on the dialogues and other user interface displayed by the accessories add-in commands. Finally, we have reached the advanced tab on the accessories add-in options dialog. For the first two options, which include show coolant on all applicable operations and show feed unit on all applicable operations, these will be located on the general tab of those applicable operations once this option is enabled. The user will no longer need to open the tool page to set these settings. Following these, we come across show length comp register for milling, which will add a length comp register that is already found on most turning operations to all applicable milling operations. The added length comp register will appear in the compensations group, which is usually found on the strategy tab, but this may vary. Next, we have the show text tab on all operations and tools which will add a custom text tab with a multi-line text box to all operations and tool technology dialogues. These new custom text tabs provide a catch-all for any functionality that is not available by any other means. The text could be output as is in the NC code or interpreted by the post processor to generate other custom outputs. After this, we have show advanced operation properties. This is accessible through the properties browser and is meant to assist post processor and API macro developers. Finally, we've reached our last available option, which is split face command feature automation, which when enabled allows the spree to recognize new faces created by the split faces command and automatically add those new faces to freeform features that contain the corresponding original face. Well, that completes today's Spree's Tips and Tricks video. We hope you enjoyed it. For more detailed information on all the options covered in this overview, please refer to the accessories add-in help. Also, don't forget to visit our website at espritcam.com to subscribe to our newsletter for more new videos. Stay tuned for more Esprit tips and tricks.